Welcome back. These players, they can be one step closer to securing that victory for themselves here. They've already secured themselves top six, but this best of three matters if they want to secure themselves top three. We're going to have Tundra up against Gaming Gladiators, so let's see game number one. Like, diversifying your pool gives you a different and deeper understanding of the game, and I think that's part of his Ooh. X Factor. Nice arrow! Arrow blood hits! Grenade. Yes, I believe that will be first blood going the way of Tofu. Tundra, they might have the read here with Tops in his tower. Yep, but... they zip on in. White Mon looks super dead. Tofu's gonna join the party. Starstorm is there as well. Pure on the run. That regen's still going for Quinn. The Lucid Beam connects, but just too many heroes as Gaming Gladiators with a 3 0 start to this game. Like the old mid Alchemist build that some players would go for would be Solar Crest. Are you actually carrying out the Radiance now? Um, it's high risk, high reward. Uh, yep. I, can't, I can't say I love it because I'm a little bit All concerned. Right, first arena of the game will All be right. reserved for Celery, and that's the first kill from Tundra. They I mean, they're on the only board. down 1,000 at this point, so has not snowballed. So this is actually, I would say, already a quite meaningful advantage for the side of Gaming Gladiators. Oh, White Mon. And White Mon. Initiated on by Quint. That is another kill to game inside. And Thompson can only just run away. So yeah. if he's in, oh boy. Pure about True. to get completely surrounded. Two tomatoes, a porcupine, and then some Game and Gladiators heroes as well. The third death for him in this game. Boy, we really cursed him. <laughs> Good lord, Soxa trying to pressure the tier 1 tower. In the meantime, Quint will casually right-click him down. Soxa does not have his ult yet, so he was like, oh, he's actually regening quite a bit as Quinn running out of mana, but eventually he does get the kill. Would you believe it? They've made us patch to this game, so now there's two Tormentors. <laughs> he found the second one. Soxa! Soxa! He's dead. Very dead. Does have his ult now, but still. Just too much damage in bottom lane, Duraccio. He is surrounded. There's the arena, the Eclipse coming out. His top to with trades. Duraccio somehow kills Ramses before, and now Pure will get the trade. So not as clean as you would like if you're Tundra. I assume, I mean, he's going to have to go like a blink BKB or something oh. that effect as Ramses. will find Quinn, or is it the other way around? 9-2 start for Gaiman as, again, you talked about it. 5k lead against a core Alk. As Topson, he will run into Duraccio, gets no, off the Duraccio. concoction. Yep, Pure is in the area as well, gets off the Lucent Beam. Here comes Tofu, though, trying to block them out, puts down the GG branch. Duraccio stuck in a corner. Big kill for Topson. Showing some signs of life is Tundra. And Quinn, pretty low on mana, but he does have the rune bottled. As Topson will be stunning himself again. In yes, one that's, go. Uh, that's quite the zoo this is they've quite got the here. home invasion here. All of them. This is like 50 Tofu. units on Roche. He spotted, so he will likely just be the trade for Roche here. And the Aegis will be taken by Quinn. If they have one failed push, their lineup could extremely quickly run out of steam against the lineup of Tundras. Oh, and they find Quinn. Quinn. That's Quinn's really low. The Echo's Ooh. not quite enough. He zips away just in time. Good luck, Quinn. I mean, he did have Aegis, so would have been the worst thing in the world, but Soxa, he's going to be found and eventually will be brought down as well. In the meantime, we have Duraccio's bear. He's like, what does this bear even have on it? It's just branches, for God's sake. But they're going to come up with some backup. It's pure in the back line. Be able to take out Duraccio in tow. Quinn, he gets the kill. Ace actually gets the kill on Topson, and the Aegis still remains online for Quinn. Yeah, I think he wants a way to reliably disengage from the bear. Oh, Clive near initiation. Speaking of. Into the arrow, Sox is dead. Yeah. Good start here for Gaiman. You know, very rarely, a lot of the time when we cast, I, I'm a champion of, you know, you got to take low percentage plays to get back in the game or whatever. Yeah. And a lot of the time when you look at this game state, that's why Man is dead. So Shiva AC is still missing. Um, I don't know if they want either of them right now. Oh, uh, we have an arena. Oh, oh, the Miss Fear doesn't really matter. Though. Celery is basically a creep within here. Pure and company will. Okay, the pipe is a little matter. longer. Duraccio going in with the Harpoon. Doing so much damage to this Mars. Ramsey's just abandoned by his team. As Topson will concoct and attempt to run. He might be stunning himself, but the, the arrow is upon Soxa again. We've seen it time and time again <laughs> in this game. As now Game and Gladiators on the footsteps here of the base yeah. from Tundra. If they mess up a push, Tundra can. This is the type of game they can solve. But you got to look at the other side oh, of the Oh, that's too. a lot of damage on Quinn. He better be careful. 
Hat does not have the Aegis here. We're still defending us only three for now, so this is a pretty good sign for Tundra. If these three can hold the tower on their own with just the threat of a potential buyback, that is very good news for them. Pure. Yeah. Look at John gets initiated on Ornate Hat HP. He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, tries to force that away, that but hurts. he is dead for a full minute. And now you have to worry about the zoo from Gaming Gladiators. After the melee, Rax goes down. They likely will have to give up this set, though, surely. Another Harpoon initiation. Soxa dead again. Yeah, you don't really expect to be harpooned by the ranged lone <laughs> druid, do you? And Tundra might just turn tail and run here. I, I think without information, this play is just so low percentage. They might be better off. Pierre's actually them sticking in face. around. Okay. Yeah. They can see that somebody's taking some lotuses, and they must be punished for their transgressions. Eclipse He's used on the tofu. He has a BKB. How? Quinn pops his BKB. Everybody's golden on Gaming Gladiator's side. As Pierce taking breath of the damage, actually inside the arena, getting really low. Finally, the Luna drops. Is at the cost of the Brood, though. And remember, Aegis still there for Quinn. They just picked it up. Tops and now attempting to pursue. He gets feared away. Ramsey's with a nice rebuke to end Tofu finally. As Soxa dies for the hundredth time this game is Duracho continuing to just right click away with this Echo Saber. Ramsey's the last remaining member of Tundra about to fall. Full team wipe for Gaming Gladiators. And Quinn is beyond god like 10, 0, and 9. God, Dota is hilarious now. It really is. But the arena from Mars was insane oh, there. Thompson finding an opening onto Duracho. Picked up a Scotty, so he is mega tanky. Gets feared away of his own arena as well. Pure with arrow. the Eclipse, trying to take it up his Duracho with his Barry. He's finally going to be brought to an end. Quinn, Aegis still online. Will not try to waste it here and back away. Those two items, that evasion, that armor, is going to negate a ton of what Lone Druid is bringing to the table. Oh, the God. Whitehawn is going to find uh, some friends. That is so sad. Yeah. They baited the bounties. He has almost 5,000 health, by the way, in range form. Yeah, this is That ridiculous. is absurd. That is actually God, that is insane. Oh, they might be catching Ramsey's here. Quint gets Lucent Beam. Electric Vortex is there. He's taking a lot of damage from Sox on the other side, though. Ramsey's finally uses his arena and dies shortly after. And Quinn continuing on with that BKB. Thompson concoction onto two BKB targets because everybody has that item on Gaming Gladiator's side. Two dead for Tundra. And just like that, we're in a five versus three, not including Aegis. Tundra were just and not And will melt. Uh-oh, another kill. Yeah, opening up onto Soxa again. No buybacks Having a really anymore. rough game. Still two cores alive for Tundra, but surely they cannot defend this. This is this is minimum megas if that's what they want. They could even just full-on push for tier 4s. Yeah, they, they will they try. Will. That massive siege damage from Duraccio's bear with the branches still in his inventory. And they're gonna try to go on top of the Luna. Pure dead again. Chen has AC. Have buyback. <laughs> uh, All right. And Thompson, last remaining member for the time being, inside of his fountain, just trying to kite them. Duraccio's bear tickling him as so GG over. is called. Gaiman absolutely manhandled Tundra in game number one. Well, Maureen is Grandmaster Sanking, and uh, Sol is uh, 33. But Quinn is uh, silver level 6 Sanking, so this guy's a noob Sanking. Oh, that's what I like to hear! Well, we'll see if those words live up. Best of luck to you, my friend. It's going to be one heck of a series, and we'll be throwing over to our cast. Just a little bit of harassment back and forth. Already two stacks of Shadow Poison from Soxa, though, onto Celery. And the third will connect. He's going to pop the stick. Blood Grenade applied as well. Not able to get the fourth, though, as Soxa eventually run down. And Celery will take a bit of damage here, but should be able to learn. survive. Pure, okay. You really try. Duraccio. Classic Garage Show gets through the gate. And that's going to be um, a stun on himself as Pure. Going to get cooked nice by Tofu. Shards. Shards going to force White Mon away. And Pure, he's taking a decent amount of damage, but more rotations come from Soxa and company. So this little wraparound from Gaiman not able to find a kill. I didn't think it would be this bad. That's pretty crazy. Fortunately, Quinn has a haste run. He'll go kill the enemy carry. So Garage is still <laughs> far ahead of Pure. And now they're going to die. Whitemon. Whitemon cookied up. He's Gets level the snowball. Five. Yeah. Onto the siege. And he's but he is surrounded and will eventually be killed off. Only question is who will get credit for it. It will be Ace. And now the tier one tower is next. 
That's Almost taking the mid tier, tower, tier one tower on the puck minute nine. Drinking buddies with the coil attached. Oh, he actually does not break it. He's still in the high ground. The snowball does secure the kill, but Ace has come in with the pit of malice now onto White Mod, who's eventually going to get chased out. So it will likely just be a one for one trade. Here's a shovel. Dig. As the oh. firestorm and the necro book will assist. Yep. As Sand King. I don't mean hero level, but of course Dota Plus level. Yeah, Dota Plus. Very unfortunate he was actually level 10. That made the joke <laughs> was, really bad. I was going to say, I think Silver uh, is level 10. <laughs> There's Moonmi under the bottom right as we have a gank here. Quint, he's going to get the Burrow Strike correctly used here as White Mon will take a tumble. It was just a setup to bait more heroes to rotate and then make the same play again. And Topson just being a bit of an annoyance will use the Illusory Orb. And they have some amazing teamfight combos. With the puck plus coil. Speaking oh, of coil, on. will be used. Topson's already kind of low on HP as the Fiend's Gate's coming. Mortimus Kisses doing a decent amount of work as Ramsey's going to get stuck inside of the pit. The Burrow Strike will be there as well. He gets Drinking Buddies, though. His socks that will self disrupt. Likely will fall here as the Black Hole comes from Celery. That's the death of Soxa. And Ramsey's probably next on the list. Indeed, he is. And they even find Topson on the other side. So, Gaming Gladiators, they, look at their HP. Like, nobody's even damaged here, basically. It's a three for nothing. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a 13-minute Radiance. Not the fastest, but it's solid. And overall, the Ramsey's. course of the game is fine. Because off the X, the Torrent did not hit, but they should have enough damage. Obviously, Celery without the Black Hole still. This is Charge such a slow in. kill, though. Right now, came in with a 7,000 gold Ramsey's. lead, and the dive here. He's spotted. Concoction's coming for him with the Burrow Strike and the Epicenter. Nice disruption from Soxa. Gonna be able to get a ton of that damage. The Kunkka's stuck inside the pit, though, as Soxa's facing the reign of Duracho, who will eventually run him down. Ramses is actually the first to fall, though, as Soxa's somehow living this Cookie long, across. but not for much longer. So it is two kills yeah. for Gaiman. Um, yeah. That really seems to be the state of the game. Pure, let's see if he can make a good oh, plan escape boy. this one. Yep, he's going to attempt to he TP cannot. out, but the Burrow Strike from Quinn and the Scatter Blast eviscerates him. Oh, Topson already and Johnson. Topson will have to use his coil in retreat. He's going to take a Drinking Buddies and run away. Yeah, the fact that he jaunted already is going to force him to use ult. In a lot of other situations, that would have been a bigger deal. Oh, that boy. Game, where are the they going? Five man gate to kill Soxa! Get wrecked! <laughs> they really hate him! <laughs> and now the mid lane, they will try to push. This has just spiraled out of control. Quint, going to force Topson out again. And uh, he now find has Ramsey's a top as well. I wonder if there's going to be any rotation here. This is going to be a quite long chase, but they're going to start it off with a pit. TP coming in from Sand King and out from the south. Yeah, Ramsey's. And, and Quinn has now made his way over. This should be the death of Ramsey's again. Surrounded Actually on uses all sides. his boats. But, yeah, Tundra. Whew. This is looking really rough. Ever since we mentioned that Pure was the best player in this tournament, Cinderin. <laughs> <laughs> you should have never said it. You agreed with me. You're part of this curse. That's what friends do. Yeah. Like, do I look good oh, in this shirt? Boy. Yeah, you do. But Black Hole ensures yet another kill. White Mon tried for some sort of a save, but he might just get run down as well. Meanwhile, they are just dropping like flies. Epicenter. Not going to do that much damage because of the disruption as Pure trying to keep Quinn at arm's length. But his arms are really gangly and long, Cinderin. He's going to get the Burrow Strike and the kill. This is a good opportunity to learn. He has ridiculous wingspan. What if Gaiman were tricking everyone the whole tournament into banning their second best strategy? <laughs> and now they gave them their best strategy by banning oh, all the heroes. The kisses come from very far away. Quinn with a double kill. My goodness, this is not even remotely close. And now looking for their first set of racks at 19 minutes. No Roche even attempted yet, by the way. They feel invincible. They're just they way too tanky like on the heroes. Sand King Bloodstone, you put a solo crest on him, you have Underlord next to him with Greaves. Are you even going to be able to match their farming speed in that case? Because they control 75% of the map. Are you going to just YOLO into a fight and hope for the best? What if they never split up so you can't get a skirmish? Oh boy. Pure. Pure gets stunned. White Mon doing a nice job of blocking off one hero, but uh, the problem is there's many others to contest with. That's going to be two quick kills again for Gaiman. It is 19 to 2. And now you're the ones who need to play catch up. In this game, unlikely to happen, but of course, this is an upper bracket match, so you have a second shot. 
as Tundra if you, unless you pull off the most ridiculous comeback of this tournament. It's going to be the hardest matchup you're playing until you might meet them again, ultimately. Most likely, that is, is correct, Duraccio. Okay. Do they have the damage to kill him off? No. Oh, he mances off the X. Wow. Oh my god. Perfect timing. And no. now the runaround is here. Quinn, the Epi, gonna slow Ramses to a crawl. A black hole. Everybody's just having their own separate fights, Cinderin. Thompson is dead. Ramses is next. As Celery eventually will fall. That is the third kill for Tundra now. Sox that gets beat down to a pulp. And it looks like Pure and Company will just have to try and run away. As White Mon inside. Okay. Double Couple buyback. buybacks. They absolutely have to get a kill here. On a core hero. Nice disruption from Soxa to dodge the concoction, but it's going to be probably too little too late. So we do have the 3 2 2, by the way. Let's hear some cheers in the crowd for that. As Pure with the gust. We stuck the inside it against Drinking Buddy. Snowball, snowball back into it, though. He gets rooted again. Oh dear, that is not what you want to see. It was better than not snowballing, because then they would have both been stunned. Now it was only the Drow that died. Again, no Roche attempt in this game. They are not afraid to continue on here. Here comes the boat from Ramses. He's been trying to work on this Aghanim Scepter for quite a while, but it is not coming together for him. The punch into the air, Quinn taking very little damage. He's unkillable at this point, Ramses. Been rooted three or four times in this engagement, it feels like, is the coil already used, and they just stood there because they don't do any damage. And the second Rax is upon Gaiman to claim for themselves. As Tundra can only look on, although Gaiman are backing away. Perhaps a soft reset. Another, Another beautiful Manta, Manta. Manta, man. What does your voice line mean exactly? It means cheers. It means cheers. Yes. Okay. That's something that people oh, hold that thought. Celery, okay. Got a lot of kisses going on. He's actually basically oh, making no, out with no. them with so many kisses. Get a room already as Ramsey's stuck in a horrible position. They're just gonna call it GG. Uh, Game and Gladiators absolutely destroy Tundra 2-0. And they're gonna go to the upper bracket finals here at TI to face off against Team Liquid. And if you showed up in the audience tonight and you were like, man, we have to get dinner before we watch the show or the restaurants are going to be closed, I have good news for you. It's eight minutes tonight. <laughs>